simple and so silly that I'm just going to have to tell you it honestly, but I know it's going to sound probably stupid. Um, okay, so my day job, as you know, is I go around the country and I stand in front of a microphone and I write all my own material and I've done 23 stand-up comedy specials, more than any comedian, male or female, living or dead. And the reason I say obnoxious stuff like that is because I want young women watching this to know you can break a man's record. Yes. And I did it just to break a man's record. Like, I, And by the way, I then broke my own record. Yes. So that same woman, if she's doubting herself, goes, dang, she didn't break her own. And, and people ask me why, and I go, just because I felt I had to. Um, <laughs> all right, so I'm, that's like my big thing, right? So what happened was, you know, I'm a comic, and I'm an actress, and I've had a reality show and a talk show, and... Um, three shows with my name in the title, et cetera. I've been on Law & Order, I've done all kinds of jobs. And so part of my life is I do all sorts of crazy things. I do stand-up comedy, um, I filmed a spoof of the film Annie, entitled Granny, where I played the <laughs> oldest orphan <laughs> who was not adopted unfairly. So, you know what I mean? And I just did it for nothing with my friends, for free, for fun. So Tyler Shields is a photographer who I think is super artsy-fartsy, as my mother would say. I, I don't know if I swore. Not really. Okay. Um, and I'm very, very vulgar. I'm too vulgar for children, by far. Don't let, don't let your children near me or come to my show. Don't bring them. All right. So anyway, we, we get together every couple of years and we do really ridiculous photo shoots. And I know his history and some of his work is, I think, powerful. So he does sort of glamorous things and, you know, he'll take a, he took a picture of me in the morning where I looked about 15 and that was fun. And then we did this really ridiculous picture of me laying out in the backyard in a latex bikini, which you're not going to be able to unsee. Um, <laughs> but anyway, obviously I'm making fun of the fact that I'm 56 years old and I'm have a bang of bikini body and I'm in everybody's face. And by the way, here's my cellulite. You know, that's what I do. I turn things on its ear. And then some of his work I thought was powerful. He did, a, he did an image of a bus full of African-American people reading the title of the paper the day JFK died. And that was powerful. He did an image that was powerful of an African-American man lynching a Klan member. Powerful. So I know he goes there. So every shoot we do, we do one like, uh, you know, we, we think of the song, let's give him something to talk about. We give him something to talk about. We put about five minutes thought into this. I apologize. I really screwed up. We were, it was the end of the day. We'd been doing all these silly photos. And I said, as I said on the tape, all right, let's get in trouble. Let's do, let's give him something to talk about. And, you know, of course you got to make fun of Trump, the most obvious, and there's so much there. And so I started thinking about that the Megyn Kelly thing. And by the way, I'm sure Megyn Kelly can't stand me, but I don't care because I'm always going to stick up for a woman who I feel is being demeaned by Trump, even if they don't like me, all right? So I thought of that, you know, blood coming out of her eyes, blood coming out of her everywhere. And the guys went in the kitchen and they were making fake blood with ketchup and I didn't have a full prop. And so I had like a, a, a styrofoam wig head and I sent out my assistant to get, you know, like a, a mask from a party store and we were stuffing it with Kleenex. The whole thing took minutes. And then I thought, well, let's make this really obvious that I'm really making an absurdist, artsy, statementy thing. Uh, and that, by the way, that's the technical term. <laughs> and so for a few, for a few photos, you know, I was holding up this wig head and then we kept making the hair crazier because we wanted to make it clear to people this was intentionally over the top. And I was very uh, stoic, which I never and you, got, you guys know I'm like frenetic and stuff. <laughs> well, on your right, she might, if frenetic is a disease, I have that. She might be right about that. I'm not a physician, but after this, I might, I might try it. Um, anyway, so we just took these pictures and it was interesting. There were a few people in the house. No, I didn't do it for any money. I don't know if Tyler got paid. I don't think so. But just give them something to talk about and it was done in minutes and people around the room had different interpretations one person said it's almost poignant it's like you're feeling sad for the country and i thought that's interesting so that's what it is you interpret it the way you want but there was no, 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 no you ask you one more question 